Hey guys, this is Locke. This is a more casual video that I'm doing today, uh, and I'm going to be talking about some of the mistakes that I made throughout this game. Uh, they're kind of humorous actually, so I hope you get a chuckle out of it. Uh, to start with, I want to ask on a personal note uh, for a favor. If you would, if you don't mind, uh, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe because I am targeting a thousand uh, subscribers, uh, hopefully in a like a few weeks or something, you know. So. Um, Anyway, if you enjoy my content, I hope you subscribe. Uh, now let's start off with the very first mistake, uh, my biggest mistake that I made on this game, which was Tancred. Uh, so I actually really liked Tancred, but the problem was at the time um, when the game was released, I am a day one player, there was this banner uh, where it had a picture of Tancred. So I really liked Tancred because, I mean, like he looks like such a cool character. Like look at his pose, for example, right? So I wanted to get him. Uh, and I started pulling on the banner with his picture on it. And I think I spent about 20,000 to 30,000 Vizior trying to get him. However, after spending that amount, for some reason I decided to look in the drop rates and I realized that you can't actually get Tancred from this banner. So I had spent 20 to 30,000 Vizior with absolutely zero chance to get him. So that was a waste. Um, so I, I guess the, the, the um, lesson you can learn from that is to always look at the drop rates on these attached tables to see what is in the banner. For example, some of the, like, uh, when the Bahamut banner came out, some of the vision card banners that were out did not have Bahamut there. And if you look in the drop rates, you could have, you could have seen that. So, uh, you know, whatever you're pulling, make sure you have a look at the drop rates to make sure you don't make the same mistake that I did. With regards to Tancred, um, I ended up getting him uh, through the mock shop. So after you know spending like twenty to thirty thousand Vizior on on the banner, I looked at the mock shop and I realized that uh, I could I could get him for fifteen thousand currency. At the time, that seemed like a lot, and I wasn't sure I would be able to farm that much. Uh, but as I was doing the different event missions that gave currencies, I within like a few minutes, I already had. Uh, 20,000 of them. Uh, where are the events? Uh, from, like, yeah, from here. Like, different events gives a different currencies. Like, for example, this one already gives, like, 500 of these event medals. So I was able to get about 20,000 from these uh, event medals, and, well, that's how I got Tancred. But because I had spent Wizier unnecessarily on the banner that didn't give Tancred, I was not able to max him, and I only had him at LB4. But still, he was the one of my uh, top most three units in the game for the first three months that I was playing. But it was still the biggest mistake I made because I, I didn't, I guess I didn't read. <laughs> so make sure you, you you know what's in the banners before you pull them. That's what I would say. The second mistake that I made was uh, when Orlando came about. I, I always seem to make mistakes when uh, with these different collaborations. So with Orlando, um, I have him now, but I actually did not get him at the time. So uh, he seemed like such a powerful unit. Everyone was talking about how great he was. I really wanted to get him. And I tried really hard. Um, and while I was pulling for him, I ended up getting this vision card, which I still use a lot, uh, the Scion of House Blue. So um, at the time, you have to, there was only two ways to uh, get vision card shards. You either keep pulling the same vision card over and over and you get 25 uh, shards, or you can, uh, as you pull on a banner, you get coins that you can buy vision card shards with from the mug shop but i think every 2000 uh, every 2000 vizier you spend you can get five shards so with the amount of vizier that i spent trying to get orlando i ended up getting this card to lb3 so you can uh well is it a i guess awaken three uh, so you can imagine how many times i tried to pull for orlando and didn't get it i i did not get him on that event uh i ended up on the second event uh the second time final fantasy tactics collaboration came out I ended up um, uh, what, I ended up pulling for Mustadio there. So where is Mustadio? I, I, I was able to get him maxed. I ended up pulling for Mustadio and I got an Orlando and I felt like his reign was really over so I didn't really want to uh, invest in Orlando anymore. Um, and so like you guys know right now that you can buy shards very easily. Well, a lot easier now than before from the, from the shop. Like they're often featured in the shop like this, and they're always around in the whimsy shops. But it wasn't the case before. So before it was very very hard uh, to get uh, a vision card maxed out. 
and I almost got one maxed out uh, of the Ras the Ramza card. I almost got it maxed out. So that's how hard I tried for Orlando and I didn't get him. So I guess the lesson there is maybe don't try so hard, like always set a limit. Uh, but it's always very hard, right? Um, the, the third mistake that I made, it's not really a mistake. I think I did I did well with uh, with my planning. So Kilfa came around and I thought that this was a good unit. It was a very powerful unit. And I decided, in my opinion, I did the right thing. Like I, I did not pull for her. I decided that I would get her at some point. So I was patient and I, I got 400 of her shards from the shop and from MZs and so on and so on. Uh, and I just sat on them. I waited for about a month and a half uh, until I finally pulled her. And then I was able to instantly LB for her. And then within another month and a half, I was able to get her to LB5. Um, but the reason I say it's a mistake, it's not really a mistake. It's just, I guess, a play style uh, difference. So for me, uh, I like a play style where you go hard and fast. Uh, like, you know, I, I like um, abilities that, that just promote a, a very fast paced play style. And with Kilfay, a lot of her skills have cast times. Uh, so you can see a cast speed of 200 here and with Holy as well, that her spells that are used the most. So um, she also, uh, her agility is also on the lower side. So in addition to her being slow, I also take extra turns just to cast her spells. And it just felt like, it, it just wasn't something that I wanted to do. Like it, she's a very, good unit she's like very powerful and um I, like i have rated her in like my top threes and in, in in different videos that i've done in the past uh but not not anymore this was like i think six months ago or something like that when i was like yeah i think kofi would be like top three but still i didn't really use her very much just because of a play style difference so um i guess the lesson here for you guys is i mean there are a lot of units that are coming out that are very powerful but just have a think to see if it's something that suits you, right? Because different units have different types of play styles. And uh, sometimes, like, there might be a very good defensive unit, and that just might not be your thing. Or maybe defense is your thing, and you don't want to go for, like, uh, like glass cannon type of units. So just make sure that you know what you're getting into. Um, do a little bit of research, see if it's something you want to invest in. And if you end up not investing in it, it's totally fine. For example, like I have Yuna uh, and she's supposed to be very powerful and I do use her, but I use Titus a lot more. Uh, and it's similar reason as of, as Kilfe because she has a cast time associated with a lot of her spells. And it's just not something that I, I, I enjoy as much as a fast paced attack life, not lifestyle, but game style, play style, I guess. So I use Titus a lot more than I use Yuna and Titus was free. So um, yeah, uh, th those are really, I guess, the first two are the top mistakes that I made in the game. The third one was kind of just a play style choice. But I hope you guys get something out of this video. I hope you guys don't make the same mistakes as I did. Uh, definitely read, <laughs> read the banners, see what's on them. Uh, and if you don't get a unit, that's okay. Just move on, you know, set a limit for yourself, maybe like 30,000 Vizier or something. If you don't pull a unit by 30,000 Vizier, move on. You know, there are so many units uh, uh, they're all very powerful like very few people use Orlando anymore anyway So even if I had spent so much effort and time to get him and then I raised him up It would have only been good for a certain time and then I would have moved on to something else, right? So um, uh, You know just I, I hope those that pieces of advice helped you guys and uh, Yeah, that's all for me for for this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video if you um if you got something out of it, I hope you like and subscribe uh, and uh, I will see you next time. Take care now.